Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Civivi Shard. I could call this a first impressions video because I will say I've only had this for one full day, but I have been using the hell out of it because I really wanted to get this out for you guys. Because Civivi's in this first run, they've been taking the budget world by storm and their first run of everything sells out super, super quick. And I know some of you guys are really waiting on this and I want to get something out before... Before uh, they're, they're sold out, they always come back, but before that, this first run sells out, uh, I will say I have put this through a lot of use today. The chore list around my house today was long, and um, I needed a knife for a lot of it. I cut cardboard until I felt like my hand was going to fall off today, just trying to get stuff out of the way because it's almost Christmas and family's coming over and all of a sudden all this cardboard that was in the garage that was fine to be there needed to go away. So I was doing that, and it's recycling day Monday. It's a whole thing. Uh, but anywho, I did put through a lot of use today, and I feel like I've developed enough of opinion to do a, a somewhat review of it. And it'll be on later. There's definitely, it's going to be in some comparison videos. You bet your butt, I've already got one planned. I'll show you in a minute when I do size comparisons that I think is going to be a really fun video to do. This is one of the $68 Civivis. You have the $42 ones, like the uh, like the Backlash, that won our uh, budget knife of the year. Uh, a spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that, sorry. Um... Probably shouldn't have done that, but yeah, it did uh, for 2018. Um, and great knives in those $42 ranges. They, they're uh, 9CR18. The $68 ones were VG10 and titanium, still are, but this one is different. They've gone to a third blade steel. Now, this one is D2, which I think is a, a very interesting and cool and good steel choice for 68 bucks. I do like that. It does have the titanium pocket clip. Um, it, it does have the gold liners. Sorry, guys. It, it does. Um, I know some people love them. Some people hate them. I like them. I really like them on this, on this brown color. I think they look great. Now, the other colors, other colors this comes in, I don't know. It comes in blue, red, a yellow that I would call more an acid green. And, yeah, especially like the acid green with the gold liners is a bit, woo! I'm, uh, that's a, that's a bit much for me. But I, I like it. I like it on this a lot. And it's got this, uh, carbon overlay. Which uh, which looks pretty good, uh, yeah. I like it quite a bit. I, I think this this particular one, the brown anyway, looks great. I like the very Civivi-ish shape of the blade. It looks um, very similar to. It reminds me, I guess, of the Aquila, another Civivi in this particular lineup. So as you can see, it's a it's quite a bit smaller than the Aquila, and that's what we asked for. We said we wanted a three inch. They gave it to us, and I'm very glad about it. And, and I like the name, Shard. It, it really, it's appropriate with this blade. The blade just does look like a little hard little shard. Let's do some, uh, and it's got the bronze hardware too. I didn't mention that. I think that bronze hardware is gorgeous. It really sets it off. For 68 bucks, that's a nice little touch. Now let's uh, do some stats before we get too much farther. You have an overall length of 7 inches, blade length of 2.95, blade thickness of 0 0.12, a uh, handle or handle thickness of 0 0.55 and a weight of 3.1 ounces. Gee, guys, you just barely missed that three ounce per uh, per blade inch ratio that we all like so much. Wonder what it would have made it a little lighter. Maybe, maybe if you didn't have that clip on it and you just had one of these little things of a shorter version of your normal loop over clip on there, maybe that would have made it lighter. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of that. It's fine, but man, I just I, I don't like. I, I don't get the titanium pocket clip on the uh, the $68 ones. I prefer the one on the cheaper one. But uh, I digress. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, let's do some size comparisons. You already saw it against the other Civivis. I guess you didn't see it against the Backlash. You can see smaller than the Backlash. We'll do uh, one of our standards here. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Again, quite a bit smaller than that, as you'd expect. And now we will compare it against uh, some knives. You may see it compared against more. I may, I'm going to wait a little bit and see if they come out with a 4250 knife in this size. I'm, I'm assuming they will, but uh, if I don't see it soon. Your Ontario Wrap Model 2 in D2 steel. And since they're small, I can fit them all on the screen at the same time. Your Steel Wheel Cut Jack 3-inch in D2 steel. So these kind of beg for a comparison, if nothing else, to compare the D2. So... Uh, I think I think that's going to happen. All right, more about this nice book. We already talked a lot about how it looks, so I'm not going to go through that again. Let's talk about the uh, this blade. Um, 
pretty thin behind the edge, as you'd expect from Civivi slash Wii lately. 17 thousandths, not bad at all. Uh, it does slice pretty good. Pretty pretty high flat grind, slash saber grind, I guess you could call it. Uh, pretty good tip on it. It's a good working shape, and it cuts, it slices pretty well. Um, as I said, I went through a lot of cardboard today, and I have not strapped it, so enough cardboard to wear my hand out, so I didn't measure exactly, but quite a bit. Let's check. Yeah, it's still, still very sharp. I mean, this is me not catching stuff out. There we go. Yeah, still pretty sharp. Could maybe use a strop, but like I said, I went through a whole lot of cardboard, and my cutting technique is terrible. Oh, there we go. There we go. You know, I think that side of that paper had gotten wet before. Yeah, I could maybe use a strop, but I've put it through hell today, so I'm not surprised about that. I would expect it to, even though it is D2. So I'm going to say, people are always going to ask, because D2 is kind of a thing where all D2s are not created equal, I guess I'll say. But uh, my first impression is that this one's pretty good. Um just because of what I did with it today. Uh, and it, it performed very well, and especially for a, a, a blade shape that isn't uh, particularly slicey when you're looking at I me. Mean, it's pretty thin stock, 0.12, but it's, uh, and fairly thin behind the edge, but it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a pretty short blade. I wouldn't expect it to, uh, so this angle is gonna be a bit more abrupt. I wouldn't expect it to slice quite as good as it did for as long as it did. And uh, that kind of impressed me. So I, I think it's pretty good D2. Uh, it's going to have to take a long time before we figure that out for sure. Or someone more qualified like, you know, uh, Stas23 or Cedric and Ada does uh, one of their full-on tests in it. Then we'll know for sure. But uh, in my first impression, is it, it's pretty good. Ergonomically, I, it, it, I really like it. It fits my hand supremely well. And like I said, I did a lot of long, you know, cardboard cuts today, which are always kind of wearing on your hand and um, some double layer stuff and it's good. I, I, it, I had no hot spots, nothing bothered me, wasn't wearing gloves, it's just warm enough outside to not have to wear gloves today and um, yeah it's good I don't have any you know marks on my hand or anything. I mean we're talking we're talking a good solid, it, I was out there for a good solid couple hours just hacking at stuff so and it held up well. Yeah ergonomically I just think it's the jimping up here is perfectly or it's perfectly is perfect I really do like the jimping on I noticed that a lot um I was mostly holding it more like this but you know when I was trying to uh really get in on stuff it worked really well there is this uh excellent don't excellently done sharpening choil moderately okay finger choil if you have very skinny fingers like I do then you can use it but you got to be careful uh the, the Aquila if I remember correctly is kind of the same way um where are the paints we'll talk about the carry the X Wranglers. Uh, one thing I do like a lot about these little carbon patches is it does make it slide in and out of the pocket very easy. It's always hard to uh, to uh, depict when you're holding pants like that. But as you can see, even this way, which is hard to get and stuff in and out, it went in very easy. This is a little bit sticking out. Um, if only Civivi had another pocket clip that would work better at their disposal in their factory. I mean, it's fine. It, that, that's the thing about this titanium clip is I rail on it and, and it's fine, but I'd rather the knife was five bucks cheaper and it came with the clip they use on everything else. That's just my opinion. I mean, this one I think would need a little bit shorter one, but still, yeah, they have this nice loop over clip and they won't sell them to us. So like I've said before, please, we can you please sell us some pocket clips? We'd be happy to pay for them, but please sell them to us because I just, my, uh, my Aquila for a long time, because I had a Praxis and I didn't carry the Praxis much, I took the clip off the Praxis and put it on the Aquila and, and I, I loved it. Uh, but now I sold the Aquila, so, or sold the Praxis, so I don't have a spare clip for it because I carry the backlash. I'm not going to take it off, you know what I mean. Uh, the the swap is not uh, is not possible at the moment. So uh, this pocket clip is fine. It carries very well in the pocket. By the way, there is uh, some pretty hefty jimping back here, but it didn't, It and you can feel it when your hand goes by into the pocket. But it's not a it's not a big deal. I mean, I noticed it uh, for sure, but it wasn't a huge thing. And this is all G10, so this is it's gonna wear in eventually. Um, I think that a lot of this is just newness, you know. And I could go take a piece of sandpaper and go shh, 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 and it would be fine. But um, not gonna do that because I'm lazy. I'd rather just complain about it. But yeah, so it carries well, but it would carry even better with a loop over clip, and they have one. 
and they don't they don't put them on it because they think the titanium is better. But anywho, deployment. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent detent on this thing. Just superb. I've done nothing to it. I'm sure I could get it much more drop shutty. It is wicked smooth. I think the pivot's a little bit tight on it. So actually, you know what? Let's answer that question right here. Because I have tools. And you have as much time as I say you've got. Let's back that off a quarter turn. Still centered perfectly. Oh yeah, it's already getting better. And I have not lubed it or anything. I, I, this was just stock lube of me using it. And I'm sure it's got some uh, cardboard fuzz and yeah, it does, you can see in there. But yeah, I really love the, I love the detail on this thing. It's just so snappy. It's so nice. It's very similar to, you know, all the Civivis are like that. The backlash is like that. Yeah, the, the Aquila is like that, you know. This actually feels more like the Aquila than the backlash, but as you expect, they're in the same the same price bracket ones. But yeah, I can't wait to take this apart and really lube it up and get it uh, put my uh, my my stank on it and get it done down to exactly how I want it to be. But it's pretty darn good out of the box. So overall, uh, my first impressions and semi review of this knife are that I. I really like it. I'm very glad that they added it. As they, as they said, we'll see how that D2 holds up. First impressions are, I think it's going to be fine. Um, their 9CR18 was was great. Uh, that's been a pleasant surprise for people. That definitely is a steal that I, I would choose. Oh, I would maybe even choose it over the VG10 they put in the more expensive ones. That's been a great steal. And we is very, very vigilant about the steal that they pick. So, oh yeah, and you can... You can't flick it with all the other fun ways. I always forget to include that in the uh, in the deployment stuff. So yes, it is multi-deployment method flickable. And the edges on this are, are rounded off pretty good. Not as much as they are in the Aquila, of course, because the Aquila's got that milled out thing, but, uh, but pretty good. But anywho, back to my conclusions. Yes, uh, I recommend it. 68 bucks. It is really nice. Is it more than these two competitors? Yes. Um, but is it nicer? Yes, it is a nicer knife. These these feel like budget knives. You're looking at around the forty dollars range for both of these. This is you know almost twice as much. Uh, it, but it, it feels like it. It does. It's, it's G10 instead of plastic, and it's really nice. And again, we my my two things that I wish you'd do, and the only two things that uh that kind of drag me down about this knife is, I do wish that uh, you used the loop over clip. From your other knives, I'm probably always going to say that about these higher end um, Civivis, and uh, I, I really hope and pray that you make a one of your 4250 versions of this with the 9CR because it's a great size, it's a great design, it's it's very good in the hand. Um, it, I imagine I, I'm thinking something like you know how they did with the Backlash and the Aquila are somewhat similar, but you know they this different, not as style of a, of a blade and, you know, no deployment hole, like that would be good. And then, yeah, do that, guys. That is my command, as if they'd ever listened to anything that, that tiny little old me would say. But overall, yes, uh, the shard was uh, worth us all getting so excited about. It was one that kind of appeared out of nowhere, as a lot of Wii stuff does now. They're just taking over. And this is still a great addition to the Civivi line, which has been uh, just... Uh, one of the standouts of 2018. So go grab one while you can. I'm, they'll be back in stock shortly. If you're watching this video a couple months from now, they're probably back in stock again. But you know how this stuff goes. The first runs sell out really quick, and it's nearly Christmas time. So go snag one if you want it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I've been Brian. Have a good one.